Okay, everyone. Now, you've all got a copy of the assessment task we're doing. This one is about the Archibald Prize in Bega, currently on. We're really lucky to have the Archibald Prize in Bega this time this year, so that we can actually all go down and look at really high quality paintings. So I need to know by the end of today's class that everyone's got their permission notes in so we can go on an excursion tomorrow. So can you all just make sure you've got them to me before we finish today, otherwise you won't be able to go. Okay, so first off, I just want to check that you're clear about what we're going to be doing in this exercise. So first off, We've got to read the article by Andrew Taylor from the Sydney Morning Herald. You've all got a copy of that with the handout on the assessment. Um, we're then going to go on the expedition, ex expedition, going on an expedition tomorrow. We're going on an excursion tomorrow down to the gallery. I want everyone to bring a notebook and a pen or some paper and a pen so we can all take notes because it's going to be really important because when we come back after the excursion, we're going to be discussing those notes in class. And so, uh, just, just to go over this article again, before we go on, I just want to, this is, when you look at the paintings tomorrow, I want you to take note, because as you know from reading Taylor's article last week, the focus is that, that portraits in this year's Archibald Prize are all about really serious looking people, they're all sombre, and he even highlights three people, three artists or three subjects in the exhibition, in the paintings this year, who are people who are, who are clinically depressed. Now, I don't know if he actually checked with them before um, he publishes in the Sydney Morning Herald that these people have got depression. Who knows? There's an ethical issue there, isn't there? So, but I want you to look at the paintings as we go around the exhibition. And in particular, I want you to look at the painting that actually won the prize. What sort of expression is on the face of Barry Humphreys, who's the subject of the winning portrait? Take particular note of that. So, um, what I want to also do is that each of you will have uh, or choose one of the paintings from the exhibition, and it's going to be your painting. You're going to come back into the group um, later this week and actually represent that painting. I want you to talk about it, describe what the artist is saying through the expressions and the, the, the way they position the subject in the painting. Um, I want you to talk about the compositional elements in the painting. I want you to go right up to the painting. And in most galleries, you'll find that they'll have lights shining down on the surface of the painting so they can all see. I want you to actually go there and look really closely up at the painting and just look at the texture and the surface. What sort of, what sort of paint surface is it? Is it really thick paint, thin paint? Can you see brush strokes? All of those sorts of elements. I want to know about that. I want, to, I want you to talk about the colours, whether they're bright colours or they're just greys and browns and really sombre colours to go with a so-called sombre mood. Look at all of those things. Um, and also, particularly, I want you to note something about what sort of emotion you think the artist is trying to portray with the expressions and the positioning of their subject in the portrait. Okay, some of them you'll find it's just basically a head filling the whole frame and there's some very big ones there, way over normal natural size. And in others, the, the subject is, is way off. You can hardly make out their face. And so they're still called the portrait. Um, now, just going through these, um, when we come back, I'm going to go through a few focus questions. And I'm going to ask you to look at uh, a couple of particular issues. Like, for example, how many finalists are in the exhibition? Um, how many portraits in the exhibition show subjects with serious or blunt expressions? So I want to be able to do... I want us to be able to do a bit of simple research. We can actually look at the, the whether this is true, whether Andrew Taylor's um, statement about them all being sombre and grim, whether it's actually true compared to the total number of finalists in the show. Because then we want to be able to look at the history of portrait painting. Because just to give you a few background facts and figures, portrait painting has been with us for thousands of years. And 
before photography, portraits were the only way we could actually, you know, give a likeness of someone, a public figure, you know, uh, someone from the aristocracy. People who had the money would get artists to come in and do their portrait. We didn't take photographs. We didn't have passport photographs. We didn't have any of that sort of stuff. So portraits actually had to look like the person looked. So in fact, if someone is grinning, their face actually, their muscles distort, and they don't actually look like themselves. But the history of portrait painting is full of very serious people.